Bienvenidos y bienvenidas a su clase de inglés. Hello guys, welcome to your English class. Mi nombre es Diana Juárez, soy de la Ceiba Atlántida. 11th grade, BCH, inglés 4, topic the passive voice simple present, September 2020. Let's check your homework. Instructions, write in your notebook the following task related to the topic we learned today. Task 1. Let's guess the homonym, identify the homonym, and write the word on the line. In the first two pictures, the word is fly. In the next two pictures, the word is address. And in the last two pictures, the word is arm. If you have your homework like this, it is correct. Task number two. Let's complete with the opposite word. Instructions. Look at the pictures and complete the sentence with the opposite words. Number one, the monkey is going up the tree. Number two, the boy is going downstairs. Number three, the lake is beautiful. And the last one, the lake is ugly. If you have your homework like this, it is correct. Good job, guys. Objectives of this class. To learn what passive voice is in the simple present to identify the passive voice in sentences. The active voice. English has two voices, active and passive. The active voice is used when the subject of the sentence does the action. In the example, A is the subject and B is the object. My mom sings that song. My mom, A, is the subject. In that song, B, is the object. El inglés tiene dos voces, activa y pasiva. La voz activa se usa cuando el sujeto de la oración realiza la acción. En el ejemplo, A es el sujeto y B es el objeto. Por ejemplo, mi mamá canta esa canción. A es el sujeto y B es el objeto. The passive voice. The passive voice is used when we focus on the object of the sentence. In the example, B becomes the subject. Example, that song is sung by my mom. That song, B, becomes the subject. La voz pasiva se utiliza cuando nos centramos en el objeto de la oración. En el ejemplo, B se convierte en el sujeto. Esa canción es cantada por mi mamá. Esa canción se convierte en el sujeto. The passive voice. When it is important to know who does the action, we use by. The noun that follows by is called the agent. My mom was the subject in the active sentence, but it becomes the agent in the passive sentence. Sometimes when the agent is unknown, or unimportant to the meaning of the sentence, we do not use by. Example, the sweater is made in China. Cuando es importante saber quién realiza la acción, utilizamos por. El sustantivo que sigue se llama gente. Mi mamá era el sujeto en la oración activa, pero se convierte en agente en la oración pasiva. A veces, cuando el agente es desconocido o no es importante para el significado de la oración, no usamos por. Ejemplo, el suéter está hecho en China. We form the passive with be plus past participle, third form of the verb. In the present simple, the passive is am, is, are plus past participle, third form of the verb. Formamos el pasivo con be más participio pasado, tercera forma del verbo. En el presente simple, el pasivo es am, is, are, más participio pasado, tercera forma del verbo. Remember, the past participle always stays the same in regular verbs and changes in irregular verbs. The subject and verb must always agree in number. El participio pasado siempre permanece igual en verbos regulares y cambia en verbos irregulares. El sujeto y el verbo siempre deben coincidir en números. Let's look at the chart. Here we have 
an active and passive sentence. The active sentence, the subject is the teachers, the verb, help, and the object, the new students. The teachers help the new student. Now, the passive sentence becomes, the new student is helped by the teacher. Next, let's look at the next sentence, the active. The subject is the teachers, the verb, help, an object, the new students. The teachers help the new students. And in passive, the new students are helped by the teachers. Good job. The passive voice is often used when we talk about art, science, literature. Example, the scientific method is used for experiments. La voz pasiva es a menudo utilizado para arte, ciencia y literatura. Ejemplo, el método científico es utilizado para experimentos. The passive voice is often used to explain directions and instructions. Example, baseball is played with nine players on the team. La voz pasiva es a menudo utilizada para explicar direcciones e instrucciones. Ejemplo, el béisbol es jugado con nueve jugadores en el equipo. The passive voice is often used in news report and academic writing. Example, the environment is studied by many scientists. La voz pasiva es a menudo utilizada para reportes noticiosos y escritos académicos. Ejemplo, el ambiente es estudiado por muchos científicos. Affirmative sentence. How do you write them? Active form. I, you, we, they plus infinitive. He, she, it plus infinitive plus s, es, or ies. Let's look at the example. Hector opens the door. Now the passive sentence. The object plus am, is, are plus past participle. Let's look at the example. The door is opened by Hector. Negative sentences. The active. How do we write them? I, you, we, they plus don't plus infinitive. He, she, it plus doesn't plus infinitive. The teacher doesn't help the new students. This is the example of an active sentence. A passive. How do we write a passive sentence? Object plus am, is, are, plus not, plus past participle. The new student isn't helped by the teacher. Yes or no questions. How do we write active sentence? Do, does, plus subject, plus infinitive. Let's look at the example. Does Russell study English? And in the passive form, am, is, are, plus object, plus past participle. Is English studied by Russell? And the last one, WH questions. How do we write them in active sentence? WH question plus do or does plus subject plus infinitive. Let's look at the example. How do you make Coca-Cola? And in a passive sentence, WH question plus am, is, are plus object plus past participle. Let's look at the example. How is Coca-Cola made? Let's practice. Change the active sentence into a passive sentence. I'm giving you an active sentence. Mom reads the novel in one day. How are we going to pass this active sentence into a passive one? Tell me. passive sentence. The novel is read by mom in one day. Good job, guys. The next one. Active sentence. Abby doesn't walk the cat. 
How would we change this sentence into a passive sentence? The cat isn't walked by Abby. Good job. Next one. Does Anna walk the rabbit? How can we change this sentence into passive? Passive. Is the rabbit walked by Anna? Good job. And the last one. The active sentence. We set the table. How are we going to change this sentence to a passive one? The table is set by us. Good job, guys. Now, it's homework time. In your notebook, write which sentence is active and which one is passive. Number one, the cleaning crew vacuums and dusts the office every night. Number two, every night the office is vacuumed and dusted by the cleaning crew. Number three, how are the cookies made? Number four, how do they make the cookies? Number five, I don't do my homework. And number six, my homework isn't done. Remember, you're going to write which sentence is active and which one is passive. Well, this was it, guys. Remember, let's stay home, let's stay safe, wash your hands. See you next time. Bye.